Hey Gemini, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before we jump in, I want to say thank you to my friends at Hair Entourage for getting me a cute little piece to wear for you guys while I'm transitioning my natural hair and growing it out. So thank you guys so much. Details about Hair Entourage in the description box down below. And I've got a new basic 101 astrology class completely reformatted. Hope to see you in class that I have it out for $50 right now. Click in the description box down below and join us coming March 10th. It's going to be good stuff. All right, Gemini, speaking of learning, all of this good learning that's going on, we had a full moon lunar eclipse at the end of January. So that was the full moon. So that leaves February actually not having a full moon at all. So there's no like really big hee-haw happening this month as far as transitioning energy. Instead, it's kind of a more ready, steady pace, but it also starts to act and look just a little bit more creative and maybe even a little bit radical. But what's great about it is that the lunar eclipse clips really stimulated the intellectual, right? Which is a wonderful place for you to be exploring and experiencing. And here's the other part about this lunar eclipse that I think was really interesting for some of you Geminis. What you may have experienced, some of you, is something happening to your head or something happening in January to your mind, whether it was a complete mind shift, you hit your head, you did something that affected the way that you think and process information. And that is going to be equally important as we're here in February because the energy of February, while very, very intellectually stimulated, right? The brain is just going. The little mind at the beginning of the month, we get to the second half of the month and we get into the ninth house and that big mind is stimulated, but they're all stimulated really under the space of a lot of Venetian Neptunian energy. It's very, very creative. Now, Venus on the 10th of this month is going to move into Pisces, okay? And this is very gentle energy. It's compassionate. It is very, very creative. But Venus being the planet of not only values, money, right? So we've got some money happening here, but also your talents, the things you get to be proud of and put out into the world. This is going to be shining some really big light, bringing some good energy to your career sector. So professionally, this is a great month for you, right? This is a wonderful month where you can take some of this creativity. You can take something you're really good at, you're really strong at, and kind of shine with it. And here's the way that you get to do it. You don't have to be pushy, right? You don't have to go in there and be like, hey, here's how amazing I am. You don't have to do that. It's going to come with some natural ability to showcase yourself. Venus is going to help beautify this career area, bring some harmony. If you've been struggling in relationships at work, if you've been struggling even with your own, what is my soul level purpose and how do I project this out there? Gemini, this is a phenomenal energy for you. And because you've had this stuff happen to your head and you have to slip into maybe a more humble, quiet, creative space, it actually lets you shine and magnify very, very brightly. So look forward to um, February 10th when Venus makes this move. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Now, the other thing I think is important about this is that, yes, of course, at work for some of you, Venus could be ushering in some kind of romance. So if that's something you're looking for, or you're looking to get involved with, um, it could definitely be on the agenda. Okay. <laughs> now, here's the interesting part, I think, too. As we get to the 15th, we're going to have this solar eclipse and it's going to be happening for you in the sign of Aquarius, but in the ninth house. This is the house of the bigger mind. Okay. Now the lunar eclipse ended, shifted, adjusted some things in this smaller mind, the detailed processing, but the bigger mind here that we're going to have this eclipse, this reset, right? This fresh beginning because the solar eclipse is the new moon for the month. So we're going to plant these seeds of intention. Not only the sun is being eclipsed, also Mercury is being eclipsed here as well. So everything is getting a fresh start in this ninth house. Now, what I think of when I think of ninth house, first of all, is faith, right? You bumped your head, something happened to your head or you're thinking at the beginning of the month, you may be surviving on a lot of faith, blind faith right now, Gemini. And if you are, you're doing exactly the right thing. You're right where you're supposed to be. The other thing I'm thinking is, okay, this fresh start, maybe you're going to get a certification. You're going to go back to school. Maybe it's time for a higher education, but this is also very spiritual energy to me 
right? Like you could be ready for a fresh spiritual start. Maybe you're very aware you cannot have the life you used to have. You're not going to have the same connections that you used to have. So that takes a great deal of faith to step out on this new adventure, right? Really beautiful. Now this solar eclipse as well is going to make some nice connection with some Uranian energy. So if you get some ideas this month about something you want to do, even someplace maybe you want to travel, and it seems a little bit like out there to you, run with it. That's just Uranus saying, get out of your box, get out of your bubble. It's all good. Let's take it this way. And this could also be something in a very social way as well. Now, we also have some interesting energy happening as we get into this second half of the month. So on the 17th, we've got Mercury moving into Pisces. On the 18th, we've got the Sun moving into Pisces. So now Pisces is just rock'em sock'em. It's very busy over here. This Neptunian energy is on go. With Mercury here, you're communicating more softly. Mercury is uncomfortable and in fall in the energy of Pisces. So information is not always clear, which actually helps you be a little bit more visionary about things and a lot less specific. So this kind of softens that thought process, softens you as well because your natal energy is coming into the most compassionate, soft energy that we have in the zodiac space. While this is beautiful, while this is a way for you to get away from some traditional perspectives and kind of navigate this a little bit differently, what will also make it hard is that conversation does get frustrating. So we get to the 17th, we've also got Mars in a square to Neptune. On the 25th, we've got Mercury aligning with Neptune. Love that. However, right there on the 28th, we've got Mercury in a square to Mars. All of this can create frustration. Mars wants to move. He wants to do, but he can't because he's taking on Neptunian energy. This is the same as trying to sprint in water. Okay, so think about that. Slow down, give the other person the benefit of the doubt, and understand that while these energies are uncomfortable, they will pass, and they are useful. Try and find the softer side of whatever it is you're trying to get done. And this actually is a demonstration of the wisdom and knowledge you've possessed over the last couple years or that you've gained so you can show us what you've possessed over the last couple years. Don't be surprised though if we get at least to the 25th through the end of the month and communication seems a little bit frustrating. This will pass. Your new beginnings are still happening and broaden, broaden those horizons this month. That's the best suggestion I have got for you, Gemini. Go with it. Broaden those horizons. Enjoy the brand new adventure, okay? All right, guys. February is in and February is out, right? Like we're just going to do it. It's a very quick kind of month. There's a lot of little stuff happening in there. I don't know that this is a month for anybody. Of course, depending on your chart, the really big decisions are being made, but there is ready, steady energy for you to be working with this month and allow that solar eclipse to set you and set your feet and your vision on a new path, okay? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope to see you in the brand new formatted Astrology 101 class. It is discounted for this session only. And of course, we've got $3 Thursday coming up this month where we will be talking about transits against the natal chart. So if you're like, Stormy, I get the natal chart. I got that. I'm just not clear on transits. This is your session to be in. So book your spot down below. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you next month. Bye.